Welcome to the channel over at my brother's house today and we're going to be taking the rims off his gold wing so he can put new rubber on since he blew the tire last there, there last year he just put it away with the bad tire on so now it's getting to be spring and uh, we need to get the tires on so we're going to do his bike first take his tires off both the front and the back and get them changed out because and then uh, maybe in a couple weeks I'll get my tires put on. Because so. the going is way easier to change tires than the hot, than the Harley. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll get set up and uh, show you what we got to do to take the tires off. So the gold wing actually has, if you look, there's like, depending on who you talk to is how you take the tires off. Some people will actually lay the bike on its side, on the, uh, underneath here there's the metal, the metal tip, tip guards. Yep. They actually lay it on that and you can take the tires off. I don't think that's the greatest idea in the world, but that's some people do that. Uh, some people will completely jack it up all the way off, you know, as far as it'll go, and you can just drop the tires off. I'm doing a combination move where I'm going to take off the back fender and the front fender, and that way you only have to raise the bike up a couple inches at max to just roll the wheels off. Uh, the front fender comes off really easy with the, the four uh, hex head bolts. Then that fender just pops right off. The back one, there's two hex head bolts right in here. And the whole fender will pull away. Just make sure you, uh, you unclip the, the lights. Which you've seen in videos before when he's put yep. done all his uh, lighting accessories. And then you should be, I mean, there is a bar right here, but you only need to lift up a little yep. bit and roll the wheel out. So what I've gathered is that this bike, uh, taking the tires off of this is going to be a lot easier than taking the tires off my bike. But so on the back tire, you don't have to worry about the brake. Yep. Because yep. that's all done on the other side. Yep. The front side, you just have to worry about taking off the, the two calipers. Yep. And then you don't really have to tie them back. There's just two bolts right here. You just wiggle off the caliper, and then the whole, you know, everything else just works. All right. We will work on the front tire first. It has the most work. Okay, so we'll be back when we show you what we uh, need to do. All right, front fender. Just took the four bolts out. Front fender's off. You should have. Uh, the tip over you, guards. Tip over guards. Little push pin on the bottom. You pull it out, cover comes off. Yep. Now he's on the process of taking out the back. Uh, yes, and I hate using this one. There. Cover. Next, uh, we'll take the uh, two calipers off. Uh, bolt here and bolt here. Yeah. Take those off on both sides. Okay, we got the front fender off. We got the calipers unbolted, they're just sitting there waiting. We got the back cover off, and we have the lug nuts loosened on the, on the rim for the back tire. Now we're gonna jack the bike up and uh, strap it down a little bit and then uh, take the tires off and we'll show you that. All right, we got it on the jack. We got a couple straps on there holding it up a little bit. We don't have it very, very far off the ground. Uh, he loosened up the lug nuts. Now he's taking the lug nuts off. Just for future reference, you don't want All right. could jack it up the rest of the yep. Well, okay, so he's got the tire off. He's just sitting there on the ground. He could jack it up more, but he's a little leery about the, how much it wobbles on here. So he's just going to take this bar off right here. So I just got to take out these two bolts, and the bar come out, and he should be able to just roll the tire right on out. Yep. All right, back tire's off. So from the back, when you jack, it up, when you jack the bike up and you drop the tire down on the ground, you're going to have to slide the bottom to the right side of the bike, down from the bottom out. 
Otherwise, you get pinched between this, between your exhaust cover and your caliper. Yep. So, slide the bottom to the right, and then put tires come out. Yeah. All right. We'll have to put the tire in the same direction. Yep. So. All right. The brake calipers are off on this side. Uh, it's off on this side, but it's still hung up on the on the rotor there because of his inspection plate that he has here that it won't let me do it out. So all we gotta do is take this, uh, what do you take this nut off, Eric? Uh, we're not gonna take it all the way off. We're gonna take it out, uh, back, it, back it way out. Okay, back it way out. All right, let me make sure these pinches are nice and loose. All right, and then you get, <laughs> you get a couple pinch nuts down there. Now, what they say the easiest method is, I'll hold the bike, and then you just tap this. Well, I'm gonna tap that? Tap it, okay. which, which will push this out. Okay. Right, because this should be. Why are you holding the bike? Just just tap it. Oh, oh cause I just didn't wanna. Huh. It ain't gonna do anything. Tap, 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 tap. It's coming out. Okay, now I take this out. Now you take that out, okay. And, oh, do I have a screwdriver in there that'll fit in that? Oh, is that just spin? Yeah, you use it to kind of wiggle it. Yeah, we're gonna pull it out. Yeah, we'll just do it. Yeah, I don't know. Do you? All right, so he tapped it out and he's got two holes here, so he needs to stick something in there just to wiggle this out a little bit. You think that's gonna be strong enough? Yeah, should be. Now we gotta hold on to the tire too? Yep. All right, so we just gotta wiggle this out. Somebody's gotta hold on to the tire and he'll wiggle that axle out. And hold on to the bike. And hold on to the bike, all right? We'll be back. All right, front tire's out. Yeah. And the axle's sitting there. Uh, so most tires are direct, uh, bike, motorcycle tires are directional, so make sure you uh, do something to mark your, which ways your left and right. Because this is what matters. Yep, and that's your ABS, right? Yep. So you got white marks, white marks on here, or, so, or you could just put... Well, right now it's directional, so... I know, but you want to make sure that the, you, when you drop it off, that, you, that he knows which ways what. Yep. You know. Yep. So. All right, tires are off, so now we'll just have to wait till he gets mounted, and uh, this video will be continued uh, till when he gets them done. Two days later. All right, it's a couple days. Couple days later. Two days later, I think. Got the tires back, mounted, and we're going to install them back on. My brother decided to watch videos after we did took the tires off to <laughs> to figure out that we could take the little tin plate off the. Uh, left side of the exhaust there so the tire will actually slide right out instead of having to jack it all the way up and you know going through the pain that we went through trying to get it off so I'll show you what he's gonna be doing all right so here is the left side of the exhaust all it's just a little tin cover that goes over it. and there's a one little bolt on the bottom and the whole tin plate should just come right off it should slide forward There you go. There we go. Comes right off. Yep. Except I'm losing all the fucking rubber pieces. Yeah, these are the rubber pieces. I'm painting them. Yeah, all right, so yeah, there's little rubber things on the tab, so make sure you keep those on there. And there was the there was the hole for the bottom. Yep. So now the rear tire should slide right back in. Does it slide in there better now? Yep, see? It goes right in now, right, don't it? Yep. Holy crap. That would have been a lot easier. If we did that before. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't do it. Yeah, I don't know. Wait for it. 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 So. Hey, it looks like there's a nail on there already. What? What? Right there. Oh. <laughs> it's just I was like, fucking day. I'd be like, that's it. I fucking <laughs> No motorcycles for you? No more motorcycles. I can't afford to fucking tires every five seconds.
All right, so it goes in there easier. So we'll put the tire on. We won't tighten it up yet. Then we'll come back and do the front tire and then lower the bike on the ground and then we'll do all the torques. Backs, all right. Okay, the rear tire's on, just, and uh, the lugs are just snug by hand. Uh, we'll wait to torque them up once we get the bike back on the ground. Now we're gonna work on, uh, we're gonna lower it down a little bit, I think, so we can get the front tire on, and we'll show you that. All right, on the front axle, uh, this, this is the front axle. Clean it up and uh, grease it up. Yep. Okay. All right, we got the tire on, the axle in, and he just needs to tap that back. <laughs> and the rest of it will be pulled in when yeah. I... He tapped, he tapped the axle back in. And then now we just gotta yep. put the lug on, right? Yep. All right, so we got the tire back on, calipers back on. We got the axle in and the bolt, and he's just tightening up the pinch bolts right, right here now. Uh, we're just doing hand tight. Everything's all hand tight. And uh, once we get the bike back on the ground, then we'll do the torques. Yep. And I'll tell you what the torques are for everything. All right, he's gonna put the tin plate back on the exhaust there. And uh, what is that, just a five millimeter? Yeah. Yep, five millimeter. Five millimeter Allen. Hey, take your leaf out of there. Yeah, huh. start a fire. Why not? Hmm. No. All right, yep, so he'll just put that back in. Just hooks in and slides back in. Real nice and easy, just like every other Honda product. <laughs> yeah. I don't, think it's, I don't think it goes that far, does it? Huh? No, yeah, I have to because i got to get past this. Oh. And then... All right, so we got the bike back on the ground. Everything's hand tight right now. Uh, we're gonna retorque everything with the torque specs, with the right torque specs. All right, what are we gonna? All right, so the axle, the front axle bolt. The front axle bolt, right there. Is 44 foot pounds. 44 foot pounds. Okay. All right. The pinch bolts underneath, all four of them. All four of these pinch bolts are 16 pounds. 16 pounds. Okay. The brake calipers. The brake caliper bolts here. Are here. 31 pounds. 31 pounds. And the rear lug nuts? And the rear lug nuts on the rear tire? Are 80 foot pounds. 80 foot pounds. All right, so we're, we're gonna go around and torque everything down and put everything back together. Yep. All right, bike's back, back together. Got the exhaust plate back on. Got the middle plate back on. Fender back on, everything all torqued up. Everything's all complete. Tires look nice. All right, that's how to take off and put back on your front and rear tires on a 2022 Honda Goldwing. And you know how everything says it's uh, easy to do. <laughs> you always run into some complications. It's easy once you figure out. And especially when somebody that doesn't have the proper tools. Oh. <laughs> Keep telling him, but he never does. Yeah, you know. But uh, anyway, we're all completed with that. And uh, like always, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.